On the battlefields of medieval Japan, the sound of swords could be heard in the distance. Courage or cowardice were always present during the terrible battles. Some samurai performed heroic acts worthy of having their names recorded in history. One of these samurai was Takeda Shingen, who lived during the famous period of Sengoku Jidai, also known as the Warring States Era. Shingen was born in Kai Prefecture, a mountainous region west of Tokyo. He was the son of the Takeda clan leader, and right from childhood, he was trained and educated to be his father's successor. In his youth, he already showed signs that he would be a great military leader. Shingen assumed a role of great importance in the Takeda clan. By the age of 15, he was already helping his father command troops in a battle against a rival clan. But when Shingen came of age, he rebelled against his father. He felt the Takeda clan should strengthen itself and conquer new lands. His father, on the other hand, was content only to protect his borders. And so, at the age of 21, Takeda Shingen became the leader of the powerful Takeda clan, conquering the title of Daimyo. Takeda Shingen was a perfect example of a samurai. He was a skillful and fearless warrior, a daring commander, and a refined man who was very fond of music and poetry. He was easily recognized in battle as he wore intimidating armor with red and gold colors and a great white mane. When Takeda Shingen was 49 years old, his clan was one of the few capable of taking on the mighty Oda Nobunaga, who had already begun his campaign to unify Japan. Uesugi Kenshin was a powerful daimyo who also lived during the Sengoku Jidai. He was born in Echigo Prefecture, and his childhood was quite troubled. His father was a famous warlord who was always in conflict with neighboring clans. At the age of seven, his father was killed in battle. Kenshin was sent to be raised in a Buddhist temple where he lived the next eight years of his life. At 14, Uesugi Kenshin returned to his homeland. He deposed his older brother to take control of his birth clan. In the following years, Kenshin focused his efforts on improving living conditions in Echigo province, establishing new business alliances and new buildings. Uesugi Kenshin was famous for being an honorable and eccentric warrior. He was a fervent Buddhist follower and a follower of Rai Savana, the god of war. His qualities as a warrior and military commander made him known as the Dragon of Echigo. The peace lasted a short time in Uesugi's life. Takeda Shingen's ambition to conquer new land took him to areas near the province of Echigo. This is how one of the most famous rivalries of ancient Japan was born, Uesugi Kenshin against Takeda Shingen, or as they became known, the Tiger of Kai against the Dragon of Echigo. Uesugi and Takeda spent many years in arduous battles, but neither side was able to take advantage. But in 1561, Kenshin defeated Takeda's army forces and almost defeated him in battle. During that battle, Uesugi Kenshin identified an opening in the defenses of the opposing army and quickly seized the opportunity. He instigated his horse and passed Takeda's personal guards, putting the two powerful generals face to face in battle. Kenshin struck a few sword blows against Takeda. He managed to defend himself in extremis, using a fan made of wood known as Tessen. The duel was broken off when Takeda's personal guards managed to drive Uesugi away, forcing him to retreat to his troops. Uesugi and Takeda are said to have nurtured mutual respect and admiration. After several years of battle, they came to know each other's strengths and weaknesses. That respect became clearer during a particular episode. There was a lack of salt in Kai province, and since salt was highly valued at the time, this was a difficult problem to solve. Upon learning of this, Uesugi sent many sacks of salt to Kai province, although these were his declared enemies. This noble act moved to Takeda Shingen, who, out of respect for his rival, suspended the war for a period of time. This legendary rivalry ended abruptly with Takeda Shingen's death. Takeda Shingen, after defeating a large army combining the forces of the Oda and Tokugawa clans, retreated to his military camp where he fell victim to a mysterious death. He is believed to have died of pneumonia, but other sources suggest it was a sniper shot. When Uesugi Kenshin learned of Takeda's death, he said, I lost my great rival. We will never have another hero like that. 
Now that the Takeda clan was weaker, it seemed like nothing could stop Oda Nobunaga and his great army. Kenshin gathered 30,000 warriors at Matsumoto Castle, where he would confront Oda Nobunaga's 50,000 men army. Even with this difference between the two armies, Uesugi managed to win the battle, forcing the enemy to retreat. Uesugi Kenshin continued to defend his clan until 1578, when he succumbed to a disease. The story of these two great commanders is heroic and tragic. These brave men, who might have been friends in other times, stood on opposite sides in a sad and devastating war.